Hello, hello, alright everybody, I'm back. I got a 50 card bulk submission from CSG. This sucker uh, is shipped yesterday and I got it today. Woohoo! Go FedEx! <laughs> I'm, I'm in Florida, so I'm close to, and that helps, right? Um, real quick, this is when I shipped it out. They received it on 524. I shipped it out, like I think on a Saturday, which probably would have been 522, 521, something like that. And they received it a few days after that. They received it really quick, so that was a good sign for me. When I seen that, I was like, whoa, okay. Um, and they shipped it 622. So you're looking at receive to shipped. And then you also see I got a reholder right there. It's been there from 615. So we'll see. I'll do a video for that. Once that gets back, we'll see how long that takes. Um, real quick, this is some of the stuff that I did send out. This is a blind unboxing, okay? I do not know any of the grades except for this one right here. This top one I know, and but that's it. I just looked at that one, and I, sh I closed it. I didn't look at anything else, okay, guys? Um, rest of it, a 1987 design. On the cleared values, I go for whatever, like... The average to low grade one would go for. I don't price it on what a gem mint would be, okay, or what it would be after it's slapped. I price it to where a low to mid grade raw card would be priced at. That's how I do it. Um, so a hundred bucks for the Wander Franco Gold. That's a silver pack. Uh, 1987 design Wander. A few other Wander base rookies right here. A trending Don Rust, number to 149. I figured I'd throw that in there. Um, some of these, uh, I, I'm not expecting, like, perfects. This was one of those submissions where it's like I threw something in that I was hoping that would gem mint that I think were no less than a 9.5, though. Okay? I didn't put anything in other than uh, the last card on this manifest that you'll see. That was just like a for fun one. I didn't put anything in this that I thought would be a 9 or under. Everything in this I thought would have to be a 9.5 or better. So, But there, I think there's like two that are hoping a prayer. <laughs> you know, so we'll see how those go. And one of them is this Lamello Ball uh, Hollow. Okay, out of Optic. The rookie card. That one right there is a little off OC. A little off center. It's no worse than a 9. A 9 is like the worst I would expect out of it. Uh, 9.5, I don't pound sand, but it could gem mix. I think everything else on it is perfect. Okay. So, um, Jamar Chase, a couple of his, and this is the trout whammy right here. This is another one I wanted to send in and get it graded. I could see them giving it a 9.5. It could also get a 10. It depends on how much of the centering is an issue. Okay. And, uh, cause they're not that far off. Both of them aren't that far off, but they're a little bit off. They might be within their new standards to qualify and everything else works out right on the card i might still be able to get a gem mint 10 for it um mike trout emanation stat image variation stat line these are ones right here i always try to get my trout tens i tried to get as many tens of his as i can and these are just some ones i'm throwing in there for that uh, george valera this is my tribe guy all right joe burrow try to get another joe burrow 10 rookie card i think it can mint gem mint these need to gem mint right here all three of these the Darius Garland Silver Laser is another PC one. Um, LeBron James Triple Charge Green. Cabrian Hayes, it's a triple patch. It's a thick card and an autograph of his. These thick cards, you know what? I could see it being a 9, but honestly, I, it looks really good. There's another one right here I, I, I'm hoping to get a good grade on. Uh, this 86 card. I love getting these 86 from 2021, these 86 designs. Uh, the rookie cards graded because they're tough. And when you get the tens, it's like yes, on those. All right. Mac Jones, Optic Preview Pink. That'd be a nice one. Rookies and Stars, Mac. A few Macs there. Nolan Gorman got hot. He was up with the Cardinals. Nolan Gorman, a pretty good prospect for them. We got a shimmer here to 25 out of Bowman Chrome. Uh, Tanner, Tanner, Tanner Allen, that's out of uh, Bowman Draft from this year. That's, I think that's numbered to like 70. That's his, uh, Bowman's first auto. Uh, Jay Allen, Sky Blue, Ja Morant, uh, My House Hollow, Ja Morant Silver out of Hoops Premium Stock. That's his rookie. So, and then Anthony Edwards, Blue Velocity, some Trevor Lawrence right there, four Trevor Lawrence. One of them is the Optic Preview right there, Pink. Uh, some Jaron Duran, Jazz Tism, Rookie Auto, um, Jonathan India, Parallel Rookie Card, and a Miguel Cabrera. This is a big one for me right here out of this submission. 
this one's probably worth the most right now. Some of the other ones probably have the opportunity to go up higher, but this one right now, the last sold for this on eBay is 600 bucks for a Gem Mint 10 for the Mel Miguel Cabrera Real One Auto. On card number 68 out of 72 red ink. Uh, then this is the one I threw in just for fun. It's the Brett Favre, the uh, X Fractor. All right. Um, I had it valued at like five bucks. It's probably less than that. It's numbered to like a thousand. Uh, I pulled this from the hobby box myself back in 2001. So it's Quantum Leaf. So we'll see how it grades out. I got more Quantum Leaf stuff. If it does well, maybe I'll do a little bit more of that stuff. Uh, right here, you see my totals. Uh, one thick holder, they charged me five dollars for that Brian Hayes thick holder. The handling's five bucks. FedEx grounds twenty seven dollars. Um, sub total was five hundred eighty four dollars and twenty cents. I have a total declared raw value of one thousand one hundred sixty two dollars on this. Uh, my order total is five hundred eighty four dollars and twenty cents. All right, guys, let's get into this thing right here. Let's get cracking, right? It'll probably be in a box in a box. I need to get some comic books out too. And I'm doing another submission. Uh, I'm trying to get a couple of local people, I think, that are going to go in. Mission, I'll probably do like 100. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see. I like these boxes too. All right. I really like these boxes. I, I use them to send them. I use them one box to send them my reholders in, and I, I store them in these. You know, of course, they do it better. To do that with, um, yeah. let's see here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right there, okay. Now, let's see. This one's the trout, is it? No, that's the Brian Hayes. Where's my trouty at? Where's the first one? Oh, it's the Wander Gold. Okay, here we go. That's the Wander Gold. It was a Gem Mint 10. Nice looking card. Excellent. Got that. Man, I'm so happy I got that in a 10. That was freaking sweet. I knew it was anyway, regardless, because the centering on it is absolutely perfect. It's a gem man. I hope I got some perfects in it. I, I don't I didn't set out. This is just stuff I liked that I wanted to get graded. This wasn't stuff where I like in the last video I did, I was set out. I, like I wanted pristines. And I just sent in like the best condition stuff I could find. Again, I got six pristines out of 50, so goal achieved. So, Wander, first one. Second one, let me see. I can turn this around because I don't want to see the grades before I flip. Let's see. That actually works a lot better. Let's get the PC out of there. Okay. This should be the 87 design Wander right here. Beautiful. Gem Mint 10. Sweet. I had a feeling this was too. It's a little tiny bit OC. A little bit right there to there. I mean, but it's not much. The card looks fantastic. Man, it would have been nice to get a perfect on one of those. I think it's going to be tough to get perfect because one of these two probably should have. That's a nice card. This is... Yeah, I like that. i like to get some, maybe some more of those if possible. Um... Next one up is another Wander. I think this is going to the Heritage. Yeah, it says number 347. So we're going into Heritage right now. Let's see. Nine. Oh, these ones were tough. These ones were tough. These ones were ones that I was just hoping for. You get a 10 in this, they do go for good money because they are freaking tough. I got one more shot at a 10 on this. Let's see. It stinks. I didn't think it was bad though. I didn't think it was nine. I was thinking these at least a nine five. 
kind of sucks. Won't get over it. <laughs> Nine again. God. Ugh. Look at the card, too. I mean, the centering on it and everything looks pretty good. The corners looked good on it, too. Tough one. Tough one. Let's see another one. This is the Bowman. Is that what it is? The Bowman has Bowman base paper. Rookie. Nine again. These ones, I had a bunch of these. And I was kind of like iffy on a lot of these as far as sending them in because I didn't know how they would be, how well they would be. I got another one of those. Ten. All right, I got one. Sweet. One of the two. I'll have to see what, if I can look at the differences. Might be the spacing on those a little bit because I, I looked at the surface and everything really well. No, it doesn't. Yeah. You can see this one right here. See, there's more space here at the top than there is on this one. That's what it... But it's only a little bit, and by the new rules, it should be okay. Anyway, let's get on with it. So I did get one. One more of his. And this is his Donruss. This one's I didn't know how this was going to do at all. So we'll see. Nine. Hmm. And this is the trending. Okay, this one right here, this is one of the ones where I had like a hope and a prayer. It had a number. It's a wonder rookie insert. It's numbered to 149. So I'm like, let's let's see what we let's see what happens, right? And it got a 10. Sweet. The centering is off just a little bit to this side. Number what? 185 85 out of 100. Donruss trending. Wander Franco red. Sweet. Nice one. I think that's it for the Wanders now, right? No, I got two of his uh, got a Bowman, I think, from last year. The Bowman Chromes or his uh, prospect cards. Now, these both got a gem mint. Picked out probably two of the better ones I had. Nine. Oh, this is the Mojo. My bad. Okay, never mind. So I got two more Wanders after this one. Mojo. Mm, maybe reach on a little bit on that one with the dots. Mm. Oh, that was the last one. I guess I didn't send in the other ones. Huh. LaMelo Ball. This is like the premier level rookie card. It's not a prism. It's just the premier level. 9.5 mint plus. Still take it though. It's a 9.5. Not bad. LaMelo Ball. Is this his base, I think? This is not the silver yet. No, it doesn't say Prism on the back. This is the base. 8.5. Oof. Oof. I'm scared for that silver now, boy. 8.5. Oof. Here's the silver. 9.5. Okay. Everything was good on it except for the centering. And like I told you, it wasn't that bad. It's a little bit more to this side than this side. But not much. The top to bottom looked good. 9.5. I'll take it. 9.5. Lamelo Ball Hollow. Mint Plus. That's fine. 9.5. That's what I said. I think I said that in the intro. Didn't I say something about that? Okay. These need to be 10s. Jamar Chase Prism. Spectra, nope, 9.5, silver, mint plus, Spectra, nice looking freaking card though, man, things shine. Jamar Chase, this is the gold cracked ice, these are tough, man, these are tough, I'd get a 10 on this one, that'd be hot. 9.5, I like this one because it was yellow, the gold and the LSU jersey and all that, purple, I think this card looked hot, looked nice, still a 9.5, mint plus. Not terrible. All right, the Trout Whammy. Here we go. Ten. Hit them where it counts, right? Ooh. Yes. 2022 Donruss Whammy. And that's a whammy, folks. 
Hell yeah. Sweet. What's the whammy going for? Uh, about 400 bucks for that, probably. It's about a $400 card, I'm thinking. Uh, Mike Trout. 1987 design, I think. Nothing special here. Hopefully, I need to get a 10 on this. Gem Mint 10. There we go. That's what I wanted. Mike Trout. Gem Mint 10. 1987 design, 2022. Sweet. This is the uh, Don Russ from 2021, the stat line, I believe. Oh, man. You know what? This one, I almost didn't send this in, so I'll take a 9 5 on this. This one's numbered to what? 243 out of 390. So I'll take that. I will take that. 9.5 mint plus on this. I'll accept that because I was on the verge. I was like, I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be... That's probably about what I thought it was going to be. I was like, on a low end, that, you know, get a chance in hell, maybe, 10. These need to be 10s. These George Valeros need to be 10s. Gem Mint, 10. George Valera Chrome. Bowman first. Got one more. I'd love to get a perfect... Come on. Getting greedy, right? Gem Mint 10. Both of them. Hot dog. Sweet. They came through. These ones you got to hit on, guys. You got it. When you do the, the base chrome Bowman first, you got to hit the 10s. Joe Burrow, rookie. Out of what? Chronicles Prestige. Nine. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That sucks. Mm. Damn. Joe Burrow's cards, man, have been tough for me, grading-wise. I mean, I've gotten more nines, and you think maybe you reach a little bit sometimes when you get like a good, you know, you get a card like that, you know, or to get a 10 on it, it could be a big difference in the amount of its value versus its raw Tom Brady, this is a Donner's Elite Pink. Let's see, this has got to be a 10. 9.5, mint plus. Mm, like that card. It was a nice card. Mint plus is okay. Eh. Wanted it to be a 10, though. I want them all to be 10s. Justin Fields, green prism draft picks. Rookie. Man. A little bit tough right now. 9-5. Oof. Mint plus. Darius Garland. Uh, is this a laser? I can't remember. 9-5 mint plus. Boy, they like giving these mint pluses out, don't they? And that thing was nice, dude. Man, that's tough grading right there. Nice looking card. LeBron James, Turbocharged Prism, green, I believe, right? Gem Mint 10. Nice LeBron right there. I like that card, the Turbocharged. I like those. I tried a Herbert one to get it graded. Uh, my last submission, I think I got like a 9 on that. The last one or one before that, I think it was. So no perfects yet. Almost down through. We got one more left to hit halfway through. So a nice LeBron 10 there. This is the key Brian Hayes. The 10 got an auto out of triple threads. It's the, the thick one, the thick card. So let's see how we did on a thick card. Gem Mint 10. This is number 95 out of 99. You see, the thick ones are tough, boys. and So I wasn't expecting it. I'm glad to see the Gem Mint 10 on this. I was not expecting it. Chops, look at all the writing on it. Tops, 2021 Tops, Triple Threads, Rookies, Future Phenom, Auto, Auto Relics. Key Brian Hayes. Nice one. Sweet. Is that on card? I can't even tell. I think there. I think these, this is an on card. I don't see the sticker. I can't really see well right now. 
Okay. Next one up. Which one is this? Another key, Brian Hayes. This is the 1986 design. This has got to be a 10. Eight. What? This is a chrome. Eight. Wow, I missed something, obviously, on the surface on this one. It's got to have a serious surface of you. That, that would look outstanding in this slab, too, right? Oh, I'm going to break it. Maybe it's got a smudge of fingerprint on it. Let me find a fingerprint on it, boy. Oof. Wow, that's very... That's like the lowest... One of the lowest grades I've ever gotten from them. Had to have missed something. Either that or they damaged it. I didn't pick it out like that. I'm usually more thorough than that. My goodness. Julio Rodriguez. These ones got to be 10s. This is the uh, Raptors prospect cards. Gem Mint 10. Nice one. These got to be 10s. I got two of them in here. 9.5 Mint Plus. So 110, 1 Mint Plus. Hit on one. The centering is really pretty off on this one, though. That might be it. Nine point fives are pretty good. I'll take them. This is the Mac Jones Optic Preview, I believe, right? Let's see, Gem Mint Ten. Hell yeah! There's another big one. That's another big one. That one right there. Oof! What's that one? I'm gonna write that one down. It's about two fifty. Two hundred fifty bucks right there as a ten. Not a ten. So I've been hitting on some of the bigger ones, luckily. Matt Jones, Rookies and Stars. Got to be a 10. 9.5. Matt Jones, what's this out of... Uh... Chronicles draft picks is the XR. It's got to be a parallel, I believe. Bronze or pink or something. Gem mint 10. Uh, this is getting into the, these Nolan Gore moves, man. I wanted to get them graded, but like I said, I took some gambles on this submission. Uh, to see some of them will pay off. Some of them have, and some of them haven't. We'll see the first Nolan Gorman. Nine. Yeah, some of these right here I wasn't going to even send. To be honest with you. Um I try to like send them if they're perfects, but on this one, this submission, I didn't do that. The next submission going in, it, I'm gonna be a little more picky. This one I took some gambles. I shot for the shot for the fence, right? Uh Nolan Gorman Fuchsia, nine. I didn't really shoot for the fence. I was a little select. <laughs> I was like, uh, ones that are borderline. Nolan Gorman, again. A gem mint 10. See, right there's one of them. I hit on this one. All three of these Nolan Gormans, I was kind of like 9-5, possible 10. I usually like to say 10, possible, perfect. It's usually my mindset. This one was like 9-5, possible 10 on some of them. Sweet. You see the dots right here? You got three and a half, and you got three on the bottom, right? So that's what you want. You want three and a half on the side and three on the bottom on these Bowmans. Got one more Nolan Gorman, and this is the Orange Shimmer. This is a good one. Gem Mint 10. Hell yeah, I'm glad I sent these. This is number 18 out of 25. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is Taryn Allen on a Bowman draft. I pulled this out of a some one of the one of the Bowman draft hobby boxes, obviously. Auto, auto got a 10. I think it's numbered like 70 or 75. It's a Black Mint 9. Man, I thought this looked good. Mm, it's 
three and a half on the bottom and three and a half on the side, but I thought that would still be good enough centering wise. Had to have some other kind of issue. That kind of stinks. This is 52 out of 75. Nice looking card though. The black border with the Marlins black jersey. It's a Jade Allen sky blue. This has got to get a 10. Gem Mint 10. This is the one that's one of the ones right there. It only works. You get the 10. My house, John Morant. Prism. Gem Mint 10. Welcome to my house. Nice looking card there. Nice. All right, this is the John Morant rookie card. Um, Blazer, I think, right? Nine. Crap. Man, that sucks. I really like this card. I wonder what the issue with it was. Mm. Anthony Edwards. Blue Velocity, I think it was. Rookie. Nine. Oh, man. Man, these are tough. Oof. That's a big hit right there. Oh, that would have been nice. Now, these ones, these Trevor Lawrence ones, they got to be tens. They got to be perfect. 8.5. Oof. I really like these because they were orange. He's in his orange Clemson uni. That's pretty much why I sent them in. And I thought they were in really good shape, too. I thought the corners and everything looked nice on them. I thought the surface looked good. I didn't think there's no way in hell they should have got an A5. Top to bottom, centering looks nice on it. It's got to be a surface issue, and I know I look them over with my magnifying glass, so I'm not expecting surface issues. There's another one. I really wanted one of these out of 10. Let's see. And a 9. Wow. Either one of them I didn't hit on. I didn't even come close to hitting on either one of them. Trevor Lawrence, Prism. Base has got to be a 10. 9.5 mint plus. I was wondering about this whole 9-5 thing. I was like, you know what? The whole 9-5 thing, is that just giving them an easy out? Constantly, you know what I mean? Oh, so this was the last one. Okay. A few hand, handful left here, guys. Trevor Lawrence, Jacksonville Jaguars, rated rookie. Gem Mint 10. And this is the uh, optic preview. The big one right here. Come on. Nine. Crap. Mm. That one stings a little bit. That was one of the bigger ones I was hoping to hit on. Uh, Jared Duran. This is the 87 design. I expect a 10 out of this one. The next one was this parallel out of like chrome. I didn't expect a 10 out of that. I was hoping for one. Jared Duran. Gem Mint 10. 80, I told you I like these 87 designs. And that's a I like that photo too. That's a good shot. It's a nice rookie card. I like that one. Sweet. Jared Duran. This is one right here. Uh, I think it was a little OC. But everything else on it looked good. 9.5. Mint plus. I think that's numbered out of 150, right? Yeah. Last four. This is the Jazz Chisholm. It's number, this was a top update redemption. Number 50 out of 149. A Jazz Auto. Autograph got a 10. Let's see. 9.5. Man, that was a redemption. Give me a 9.5 on a redemption sticker. Sticker auto. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I don't know what the issue was, huh? Maybe something with the sticker. Mm. 
Okay, Jonathan India. Number 138 at 199. This is another tops update. It should be like the uh, red foil. Gem Mint 10. Hell yeah. This was a card I really liked. This was one of the ones too where I was like uh, 10 possible 9.5. That's a good one. I like that. The color match, obviously. It's number parallel, red foil, rookie of the year. Um, this is a good one. This is it. This is a 10. It's a $600 card. If it's not, it's a lot less. <laughs> uh, Miguel Cabrera, a real one. Nine. Mm. I pulled this out of a Heritage uh, high number hobby box back in December. Dang it. And got a nine, not even a nine five. Oof. That thing was so center perfect. But I was sure this thing was going to get a 10. I was sure of it. Look at it. All right, last one was just for fun. It's a 2021 uh, Brett Favre. Quantum Leaf, number 567 out of 1,000. I ripped this out of a hobby a long time ago. It's been sitting in a uh, top loader in not so good condition sometimes. So let's see what it got. A nine. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Two thousand twenty one content leaf X X X Penennial Power X Penennial Power. Yeah, these things right this right here I was really with all this stuff going on on this quantum leaf right here. X potential potential? I don't know. It doesn't look like potential to me. XP nine. Here we go. Alright guys, uh hope you like this submission. I think there was a lot of good cards in here. I think they were really tough on the grades for me, right? Um, I don't know what my rate was. How many tens did we get out of everything? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 20 tens. All right, so that's that not good. <laughs> I like to get at least 25 tens. So there's a few of these that I really thought should have gotten tens. Uh, this Miguel Prepero will be on one. How many nine fives did we get? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir thirteen, Thirteen nine fives, so twenty tens, thirteen nine fives. Then the other seven, the other seventeen will be nines, and then I got an eight and a couple eight fives. So 
that makes it out to be what uh, about 14 nines then that's way that's totally unacceptable for me I should have done a lot better than that um, like I said though some of these were just like cards that I liked and um, I knew they were close and you know, some of those I did get all right and uh, some of them I didn't like there's a few tens that I got that I was just thinking about you know what I'm not gonna send them I think they're nine fives I really truly believe them to be nine fives and a possible nines but I got the 10. The combined haze, I was worried about sending in. Okay. Normally I wouldn't send in a I don't even attempt to send in thick cards like that. Even if they are like good rookie autos or something like that. I don't even do it. I'm just like I'm so like into the whole mindset that, you know, those kind of cards are just freaking so difficult. But I sent it anyway. I took the chance and it paid off. So you gotta risk versus reward, right? You know what I mean? It's like the, the three Nolan Gormans. I originally wasn't gonna send in any of them. But I was like, man, I really want a 10 on that freaking orange shimmer. Then I just kind of talked myself into it and I ended up sending, I got the 10 on the orange shimmer. You know what I mean? So it was like, some of them worked and some of them didn't. You know, what pisses me off is kind of like some of the ones that didn't hit were ones that really should have. Like I looked over with a fine tooth comb and that's when I was like, what the hell did I miss? Because there was a couple in there that got nines. That I was just like, man, there's no way hell i was that far off because i looked over every single one of them with freaking my trusty magnifying glass let's see, let's see, let's see. over every one of them with this and i wiped them down you know what i mean i can't even find my cloth right now here it is this is the one i used i'll be throwing this one away but then i used my it's like a regular cloth like this. These are your microfiber cloths that you're going to use. Okay. You don't use like a microfiber cloth that you use on your car or nothing like that. But like something standard like you use for your eyeglasses or whatever, you know. And so some of them, those lower cost ones, there was like no reason that I can think of. Because centering is the first thing I look at. Then I look at the surface, corners, edges. Uh, other than the Trevor Lawrence oranges because... They were such a color match. I was like, if I hit one of these with a 10, that would be freaking sweet. So I said, that's why I sent in two. So that one I did take a gamble on. I, they got burned on both of them, too, an 8, 5, and a 9. That just goes to show you, a lot of times it is what you think it is. <laughs> you could hope in one hand and, you know, whatever in the other and see which one fills up first, right? So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, look at my eBay link down below. I'm going to get these things up. If Today's June 23rd. It won't be today. A lot of these won't get up today. Uh, I'll try to get my pictures later on tonight and look out throughout the weekend. You'll see some of them popping up on there. Um, also have a 40 card, as you've seen, I showed you earlier in the video, the 40 card reholder coming back with a lot of other stuff. Uh, a lot of the, like the 9.5 gem mints I had before, just those are the only ones I did. I sent them in and get the tens. Um, the majority of those I paid seven when they get them great, I paid 720 anyway. So the five dollars only adds up to like. 12 20 to get it graded anyway so i figured it was worth it you know on a lot of those so uh that's it guys like share subscribe tell me what you think the ones i did um how much do you gamble when you send them in how often do you look at a card and say you know what nine five but i really want the 10 or it's a nine but i it's got a chance and how often do you do that and do you limit to how many i probably did a little too much on this one i sent in some ifs okay um, that too, and I was just trying to feel them out too on the new grading rules and process and stuff like that. And I think I do got a good uh, lining for it. They have, they have a little bit of play now in the centering. It's just watch that surface, brother. Look at it real good. Look at it better than I did on some of these. And if you really look at a card, you really think in your heart, I believe this isn't the gem mint. Then you got to decide how many times you're going to do that per submission. I think I need to cut that down on this next submission coming up. I think I'll throw in maybe like five if I really like them. And I'm like, maybe I'll throw in a maximum of five that whole submission. And I'll kind of weed, weed them in like that over the submissions. That way I ain't taking too many nines in on one submission. All right, guys, that's it for real this time. All right, for real one autograph that got a nine. I, oh, no, I thought if you got a ten. But we got the trout. Trout whammy 10. Yay. Woo. All right, guys. That's it. Later. Have a good weekend. Look for my eBay. Look for some of these if you're interested. All right, guys.
Bye. Later. Good luck cracking.